Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I saw a couple of comments of people asking, since we did, you know, a bunch of F-16 fights and showing off the two circle and all that. Uh, I saw a couple of people in the comment section asking about what would you do against the, the F-16 and all this. And, you know, I've done this video in the past, but I'll do it again because, you know, that we've got a lot of new subscribers to the channel. So I figure some of you uh, might want to, you know, see a refresher of this. Or if you haven't seen that video, you might find this useful. Um, into the merch here. And I'll force a one circle right there with the F-16. So far, so good. So basically, we have a one circle fight going here. And a one circle fight is a nose to nose fight. A couple of rounds there that were close. Uh, it's called a one circle because both aircraft make up half the circle, so you end up with one full circle. Uh, the F-16 wants to fight me uh, in a two circle, and we have two different kinds of two circles, but we'll talk about that. Just Two circle is just nose to tail, it is one bandit chasing the other, and it's called a two circle because both aircraft are making their own circle. Almost had them there again. and So that's why we call that a two circle, and the other one a one circle. You see me here just kind of uh, cutting his circle instead of just chasing his tail. I'm trying to lead him enough, but he's doing a good job of staying above my nose there. So here we are, we're getting down to the deck and we got a deck transition. So instead of an overlapping two circle, you're going to see me climb and then I'm going to pull hard on the way down. And what I'm doing is actually offsetting the two circles. And that's going to allow me to reverse into a one circle, force a one circle fight from there. Uh, watch this. You see this? Look at that. We got a two circle over. We, we're turning the overlap into an offset two circle. Okay, and we do that just by climbing and pulling hard on the way down. Climbing and pulling hard on the way down. Now watch this, as he turns, uh, when he comes near me, it's gonna, he's gonna have no turning room and I'm gonna reverse the turn right here, there we go. And look at that, he just went from being in a two circle on the deck to a one circle fight, which is definitely not where he wants to be. And there we go, continue to force that one circle from here. Now he's a little too slow here. Almost had him there. He's gonna have trouble from here. Uh, if he wanted to negate my offset two circle, he could have just copied my moves. As I went up, he could have gone up. And when I came down, he could have come down. Oh. And what that would have done is as I dragged the circle to one side, he would have dragged his on top of mine and he would have kept it overlapped. Um, but he didn't do that. He allowed me to offset the circles, and that is why I'm on a six right now. He's trying to ditch, but he's way too slow, and he realized that. So instead of trying to ditch, he's still jinking, but he's fully defensive here. And he's going to try to push for the overshoot. Here we go. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Splash one F-16. So that's what it's about. You just got to not be a cooperative bandit who fights two circle on the deck, you know? And... Uh, a really good way of doing that is the offset two circle.
So remember that a one circle fight is a radius fight. He who gets his nose on faster will win that fight. The two circle fight is a rate fight. The guy who rates around the circle faster degrees per second will win that fight. The one circle is a nose to nose fight where a two circle is a nose to tail fight. Your nose or his nose will be chasing your tail or his tail. Here we go into the merge. Once again, we're gonna force one circle using a bit of the vertical. Which just makes it a little bit harder for him to uh, get his nose on as he comes around. And look at this. So from here, he'll drive to my high six, and he'll dictate the fight a little bit from here. Uh, you know, just refusing to come one circle with me. And that's okay. I can keep forcing, I can keep trying to force one circle. And hope that he makes a mistake here or there. As long as he keeps his speed up and he doesn't go below 350 knots, he should be okay. He should always have energy to climb over my nose, like right here. Look at this. You see that? I tried to cut inside a circle and point my nose at him, and he just climbed over it. So that's fine. That'll work nicely for him. But you notice how I got him reacting to me, right? I am constantly using rudder to point my lift vector in front of him, and then I'm trying to pull him in. You see those vapors coming off him? Yeah, you see those? The little clouds forming around his wings? That tells me he's pulling hard on that jet on the stick there and that's making him slow and slow means I might be able to do something in the one circle here watch this I'm gonna point my nose he won't be able to escape it oh because he got slow see so he got lucky there uh, that I missed right but you saw because he was slow he couldn't climb over my nose there like he did earlier um, so anyway, he's had enough of that. He's uh, dumping his nose and trying to get into his two-circle fight from here. And so I'm gonna, again, not be a cooperative bandit and just sit in a two-circle waiting to be outrated by a viper. I'm gonna start setting up that offset two-circle right off the bat here. Um, I've got some speed. The speed is okay. It's good. Uh, I'm gonna use it to just climb a little bit here. And here we go. Watch this. We're climbing up. We're climbing up. I'm a little fast here. This is why you see the G out effect kind of happening. Easy, almost blacked out there. And then I'm pulling hard on the way down. And I'm pulling the AB just to control the speed a little bit here. But this up and down motion I'm using to offset the circles here against this F-16. Look at this. He's going to cross high aspect to me. And that's going to be my cue to reverse the turn here. Okay, remember I want to reduce his turning room. So when he, it's kind of like looking out the side and he's going like right past you like it's a road. You know, like you'll see him. It almost looks like he's not tur turning around you. Watch this. Look at this, look at this. You see this? He's going to pass high aspect next to me. Look at that. Oh, he's close. And then I'm going to reverse that turn. And that's the offset. That's one of the intersect points right there. Uh, we're going to avoid his nose here by just climbing slightly over it. He tried to gum me there. That was nice.
Now, the reason he had me there almost was because I was a little too fast, but it's okay. I'm good now. I'm a little bit slower, and I've got him in this one circle turn. And I'm just gonna roll over him here. And look at him, he's slow. That's it, he's dead. This is one dead viper. He's slow and in a one circle with a MiG-29. Hold on, hold on, here we go. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on, come on. And dead, splash one viper. <laughs> Yeah, so once he gets slow like that, he can't even ditch into a two circle because I'm just sitting inside a circle, so I'll kill him as he tries to break away into the two circle there. Uh, overshoot is all that would have helped him in that situation. All right, splash one Viper. So when you have a two circle, generally what you see in the uh, videos is one aircraft is doing this and then there's another one following along on the exact same circle, right? So it looks like two circles on top of each other, hence why it's called a two circle. People are often confused by this, they're like, why? It's just one circle. No, every aircraft is making its own circle, so it's actually two circles. It's just overlapping. Then you have something called your offset two circle. So that might be one aircraft, and then you have another one doing this. Okay, now you have an offset two circle. And this is interesting because at these two intersect points, you can probably take a shot at him and or reverse the turn um, if you can get these offset far enough. But actually right here, in order to, to get the uh, one circle reversal, what I actually did was I took that offset and I, I made it so it was like this. So it was even more offset, like this separation, I got that down to like almost nothing, right? And then as we crossed here, it was minimal turning room, and that's when I reversed my turn and forced a one circle with him, right? So this is the, the concept of the, uh, you know, offset two circle there. Now, zooming in, it's been a while since I've done attack view. Um, we have our whole one circle fight and then, you know, he ditches to his two circle. And so the way you're going to create the offset two circle is just by going up and coming down. You see that, you see that little up and back down right here, right? So uh, pull hard on the way down. And what that's going to do is you can already kind of see it forming. Let me increase the lines a little bit. That was too much right there. So as I fast forward, okay, so there you go. Right there, you should be seeing it. What you have is one circle being created by the F-16, which is about here. And you have another circle being created by the MiG-29 right here. So you actually have the offset two circle. When these circles are on top of each other, it's a overlapping two circle. Okay. And so you'll see that what happens is eventually that offset is such that it allows the turn reversal, as you see right here. This is when I was when I was saying, oh, it's like being on a highway. You're going this way and he's going this way. And you look out the cockpit and you see him like going like this beside you. It's like, whoa, that's not a raid fight. No, it is. You're in an offset two circle. That's what's going on. And once you've established this, you want the minimal turning room. So if I could have been even tighter on him, that would have been great. But you can see one circle, you can see the second circle. And it's the perfect as you pass right here. And I, like I said, ideally hug him so that he's really tight to you as he goes by. And he's going this way. And then right here, you're going this way. And then you come really close and then you turn reverse. And next thing he knows, he's in a one circle. All right. So this is this is the perfect. This is the cue you're looking for. You don't want to like... I don't know, like he's here in the circle and you're here 
and then you reverse your turn. Like that doesn't work, right? Because then he's got your six. That's not how that works. So you need to be right here, up beside him, right here. And as you look across, you go, oh, there he is. High aspect, going by you, like, you know, speeding by on a highway, turn reverse. That's your visual cue that you're looking for. And as you can see right here, there's the turn reversal. And next thing you know, that F-16 is like, wait, I was in a two circle. I don't get it. And now he's defensive. He's got to climb over my nose to try to not get shot there. Reverses again. But at this point, it's just me reversing on him, keeping him in that one circle, and then he's dead. Slash one viper. Okay, let's look at the one other round and then we're done. So this is the one other example of the... Uh, offset two circle but this time instead of turn reversing we can see once again clear offset two circles right uh, what you can see is that you may even have a shot opportunity which is what happens here dead viper right so there are multiple things that can happen in the offset two circle and so if you're wondering if i'm a viper and i see a mig 29 doing this to me he goes up, he comes down, he goes up, he comes down while I'm raid fighting. I'm just trying to offset a circle. What do I do? What's my defensive move as a Viper against the MiG-29 doing that? Uh, or any other aircraft who's trying to force a, an offset two circle against you? Literally copy him. That's all it is. Every time he goes up, you go up a little. You see him coming back down, you come right back down. And basically by copying him like that, what you're doing is he is trying to offset the circle. He's trying to drag his circle away from you. And when you're copying him, you're doing the exact same thing. You're dragging the circle with him. So you're keeping it overlapped. You're not allowing him to offset. So uh, that's what that's your defensive move as a Viper. OK, guys, uh, I hope that this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.